So energy policy is, has been a disaster under, under President Biden. And what we need to do is we need to have an all-in energy policy. So we need to be doing oil. We need to be doing gas. We need to open up our drilling. We need to open up pipelines. We need to open up all of that because that's what we have today that works. And we produce energy more cleanly than anyone else. And we want to be an energy exporter because that's actually a national security issue. I was chairman of Illinois Vets for Energy. And when we were involved, I was involved since about 2008 uh, on energy policy. And it was all around national security and we need to do everything so that means oil that means gas that means nuclear we've added to two nuclear plants since 1979 we haven't built anything new and that's the cleanest base load power we can have and then we have renewables like solar that can augment our system but they cannot provide base load and anyone that tells you they they can just isn't telling you the truth well that's Same of course the goal of uh, of the state of illinois uh, uh, energy uh, reform law that passed uh, a while back and uh, Governor Pritzker and members of the General Assembly are campaigning that it's been a great success so far. It's not grounded in fact. You will never be able to provide base load power via solar or via wind because we all know wind doesn't blow all the time. Solar, the sun doesn't shine all the time. We know that too. So, but the idea uh, is that they store it in batteries, right? And and they're they're they increasing store it in battery technology that we don't have that the that the earth the rare earth minerals for the batteries and for the solar panels are actually more rare than than fossil fuels are. So there's all kinds of complications with that. But there's other forms of energy too. There's geothermal. There's uh, there's there's uh, water power. There's wave power. There's hydrogen, which is something that we haven't completely tapped. But probably the thing that we've tapped the least that the technology is certainly there for is nuclear. You look at the advances we've made with say nuclear powered ships uh, in in the military over since 1979 when Three Mile Island happened. Our technology is much better. The waste is very minimal now and we should be doing more nuclear plants and we just don't. So we need to have a broad-based energy policy and do all of it because that's what's going to extend our energy resources a long time. It's going to give us time to generate the technology that we need to make some of these other things more effective. But the current technology that's there just doesn't work, which is why it has to be heavily subsidized by the government to compete. Even with high gas and oil prices, they still need more, uh, more subsidies to make that stuff work. And that just tells you that it's not ready for prime time yet.